The first, and in many cases the most important stage of the air preparation process, is filtering or cleaning the air. All systems can benefit from filters and they come in many forms. Norgren offers filters from mini one eighth of an inch to big two inch units as general purpose filters, coalescers, or oil vapor removal filters. Water represents over 80% of all contamination within compressed air. Wet air causes corrosion through the entire system and reduces the lifespan of components. Fragments of corroded piping can end up being fired through the system and cause significant damage. Adding a dryer to an existing system that is already suffering from corrosion can actually exacerbate this problem, causing more fragments to become loose in the system. A dryer reduces the pressure dew point, or PDP, of the air. The PDP is the temperature at which condensation will start to occur. It's the point at which the air can no longer hold all the moisture within it. If a dryer reduces the PDP to minus 40 degrees Celsius or minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, then it would have to fall to below that temperature for any remaining moisture in the air to condense to liquid. So there are two important temperatures to be aware of in and around a compressed air system. The atmospheric temperature and the temperature at which water will start to condense in the system. As well as removing water, we need to remove unwanted oil usually from the compressor. This contamination can cause issues itself, but when mixed with moisture, it creates a substance that isn't good for lubrication and can stick to moving parts inside pneumatic components, slowing cylinders, for example. But why do we add oil if we have already gone to the effort of removing it? Later, we'll talk about adding oil to a system with a lubricator. This clean, controlled oil ensures smooth running of components and is very different to the dirty, unpredictable oil from a compressor that may be circulating through a system. Filters also allow us to remove dust, particles, and fumes. Filtering air obviously costs money, but every application will benefit. The correct filter with the proper maintenance will pay for itself through increased production efficiency. Filtering air is nearly always best at the point of use, but has benefits throughout the system. Filters at the point of use can remove any contaminants that enter the system after they have left the air receiver. For example, changing air temperature may cause moisture on the way to the point of use. With all this in mind, let's take a look at the range of filters available to us and how they work. Here are three filters. A general purpose filter, a coalescing filter and an oil vapor removal filter. The level at which you clean the air is dependent on the application and the level of spend needs to be justified based on the reduced maintenance costs. A general purpose filter can be used to reduce the levels of water, dust and particles in compressed air. In particularly contaminated areas, they can be daisy-chained to increase effectiveness. Let's see how it works. The air enters the inlet port on the left before it hits the solid wall and is directed downwards. Any very large particles or water droplets will lose their momentum as they hit the wall and fall into the bowl below. As the air continues to move into the filter, it moves across the angled fins of the louvre, causing a cyclone effect. Momentum forces smaller water droplets to the outside of the bowl and gravity causes them to collect at the bottom. While the air is very turbulent above it, the baffle creates a quiet zone below it where the air isn't spinning. This is so the water and particles that have collected here don't re-energize back into the air route. The water that does collect needs to be drained periodically. If the level reaches above the baffle, water will re-enter the airflow. We've used a manual drain in most of our animations to demonstrate the process more clearly. But remember, always lead with an auto drain. We'll cover the reasons later. The air is now directed through the depth filter element that not only stops particles, but long strands too. Filter elements are rated on their micron size. This is the size of particle it will stop. The two options that Norgren offer are 40 micron and 5 micron, with 40 being the standard and typically used for actuators. 5 micron is usually specified to protect more sensitive parts, like a proportional valve. Now the filtered air leaves through the outlet to carry on downstream. Norgren's Pure Air Coalescing Filter removes oil and extremely small particles 
down to 0.01 micron from compressed air. It works by forcing air through an element where it changes direction and bumps into itself, causing any oil to coalesce or stick together, creating bigger drops on an outer sock. As it gathers, it gains mass and so gravity forces it downward into the bowl. When it's working, you will notice a wet band around the sock as the oil gathers and drains into the bowl. Contaminant oil needs to be drained before it reaches the bottom of the element or it will be pulled back into the system. Check for replacement intervals and operating limitations regarding temperature. An oil vapor removal filter uses activated carbon to extract oil vapor and odors from air. In a similar way to the coalescing filter, air is forced through an element, but this time the element is made of activated carbon that captures the oil particles at a molecular level. Once through the carbon, the air passes through a dust retention layer before exiting. There is no drain required, as no liquid will collect. If the filter is exposed to liquid oil, it will no longer function and will need to be replaced. The carbon pack contains dye crystals that turn blue if exposed to these contaminants. If activated, it's important to understand the source of the problem. This element needs replacing rather than servicing. Check for replacement intervals and operating limitations regarding temperature. The elements used within any of these filters will have a classification code relating to their suitability and micron rating. You can see that the Norgren F84G general purpose filter, for example, has two classifications, one for particles and one for water. Coalescing or oil vapor removal filters would also have two classifications, one for particles and one for oil. Remember, a lack of servicing can lead to a loss of pressure and inefficiencies in the system.